Very good! This picture show a boy kicking a ball and a boy pushing a box. Do you know that these boys are both using friction? Yes, they are! You're right! What is friction? Friction is a force that opposes motion between two surfaces rubbing against its other. There are four types of friction. Static friction, sliding friction, rolling friction, and fluid friction. Static friction occurs in stationary objects or objects at rest. This type of friction prevents an object from moving on the surface. Sliding friction, also called Dry friction occurs when two objects rub or slide against each other. This also occurs when the palms of both hands are rubbing against each other to produce heat. Rolling friction occurs when an object rolls over a surface, such as rolling car, tires, and a rolling ball. Fluid friction occurs when an object moves through a fluid, which either can be a liquid or gas. An example is a dolphin soaring through the air and a man swimming in a pool. We have here examples of the different types of friction. Here are the pictures. A boy on a slide is an example of a sliding friction. A man swimming is an example of a fluid friction. A man riding a bicycle is an example of a rolling friction. And a book resting on a table is an example of a static friction. Now, let us identify the type of friction in the given pictures. Help 
helps people convert one form of motion into another. Friction converts some energy into heat. Number one, friction makes object difficult to move easily. On the other hand, gravitational force pulls objects towards the Earth's surface. Gravity affects friction in a way that it is the force that causes a ball you throw in the air to come down again. The force of gravity causes a car to cause downhill even when you aren't stepping on the gas. The force that causes a glass to drop to fall on the floor is a pull of gravity. Thus, gravity affects friction and motion of objects. So, we must be very careful and watch out for our safety in everything we do which involves friction. Number two, friction converts some energy into heat. Noise and wear and tear of materials on bikes and gears. Now, I want you to put a check mark on the space before the number if the statement or situation shows desirable effect of friction and cross mark if not. Number one, the brake of John's bicycle prevented him to hit the dog. Number two, Ben walks on the road without falling. Number three, the engine of the car uses more fuel. Number four, the boy slipped when he ran along a wet surface. Number five, Maria easily pushes the table on a smoother surface than a rough surface. I know you are all good now. I want you to answer the evaluation on page nine of your learning activity sheet. And for your additional activities, Name at least five ways on how friction is applied in your everyday life. Well done, kids! Once again, this is your teacher Shen saying happy learning with you. Stay safe and see you on our next session. Bye!